Hey, we're out on a basement walkout entry project in Eagle Mountain, Utah today. And I just wanted to show you guys, we've got the concrete all prepped for the stairs. And I just wanted to show you how this all works with the insulation and stuff. So let's jump right in. So we're down here at the bottom of the stairs in this basement walkout entry that we're building. And I just wanted to show you something that's important for the, uh, the footings. And that is this board, this foam board insulation. This is a two inch thick R10 insulation that actually allows the uh, footings to not have to be 30 inches deep or below the frost depth. And essentially what this does is it actually creates a, a barrier, a thermal break, so that these footings over here actually don't have to be 30 inches below the grade. So right now, as it sits, they're only going to be four inches below the grade, which is essentially just the thickness of the concrete. And so what can happen is the moisture underneath the footing in the soil can actually freeze and then create a frost heave where that, actually, that water actually expands and lifts the footing up. So this insulation is an important part of the project here where you actually have to install this so that this footing area is safe even though it's not 30 inches deep or below the frost depth. And so that insulation actually continues up for three steps to protect the footing over there on the home and the new foundation wall as well. So underneath this insulation, we have our, our drain that we, uh, that we do there. And then we have other videos on that you've seen. And then actually over here, we have all the rebar. So because this rigid foam board is pretty soft we have to put rebar in here 12 inches on center so we've got these ones in here it's actually closer than every 12 inches on center and then we still need to get these ones going this way moving on up the stairs we actually have these rebars put in re rebar dowels number four rebars half inch in every single stair going all the way up the stairs and so that's going to basically ensure that if this soil underneath the stairs ever, ever settles even a fraction of an inch these stairs are actually being going to be supported completely by the rebar dowels that are on every single step on both sides. So the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is the, the way that this slab is going to come in here and meet up with the existing slab inside on the other side of this door inside the basement. So the way that's going to happen is here we have our mark where that concrete, the top of the concrete floor is going to be that actually corresponds with that inside one and it slopes down this way slightly. And so this concrete pour that we're gonna do here, it's gonna flow underneath here and fill in underneath this threshold so that that's nice and tight and solid. And then that's also gonna be tied in with all this rebar so it's not going to crack and it's gonna be resting on this original footing. So it's gonna be really solid. And that'll give it a nice seamless transition from the addition into the, the existing old space. So if you're looking for help building a basement walkout entry or an addition onto your home or just remodeling your home in general, you can reach us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com. You can schedule a consultation there. Thanks and have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.